Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, before we go way off uh, down that direction, um, you mentioned the Global Shortcuts portal. Yeah. So right now, Global Shortcuts with OBS is very, very... Non-existent uh, on Wayland. Well, on the Wayland version, <laughs> it, it, it's very weird, right? Because different compositors will implement, like, solution hack workarounds. So Hyperland... Yeah. Hyperland has their fun solution, which is uh, basically l let applications snoop in on certain keys. Yeah. Uh, then you, you used have... WebSocket at some point. You right there. Of course, the WebSocket's also uh, an option, uh, but that's that's yeah. circumventing the issue completely and just yeah. binding to WebSocket calls, which also works yeah. for sure. Um, and then KDE. They have their legacy X11 app support, which if you yeah. run an application through um, through X Wayland, it'll then let th those applications snoop in on keys. Um, I I don't remember if GNOME allows by default the mm -hmm. if X Wayland window can access the whole keyboard. I think KD just added more security where they wanted to mm -hmm. for this switch. The issue is that. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna touch a word. Mm -hmm. No, not English, Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What well, the on X11 keyboard or keyboard strokes mm -hmm. and mouse movement were literally a self serve buffet for applications. Yeah, you can write a so, X11 keylog so, in one line of Python. Yeah, every app is a potential keylogger. Yeah. X11. And on Wayland, they changed. They, of course, by security, they didn't let this happen again. And only focus Windows, I, besides X Wayland mm -hmm. stuff, focused win only the focus window and the compositor slash the desktop environment have get interactions with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. And the point of the global shortcut is to allow to say to the compositor, hey, I would like to I would like to allow my user to set hotkeys to for to trigger these features. But it's when it comes to OBS, in OBS when you set up your hotkeys, it's inside the OBS the OBS interf user interface mm -hmm. inside the settings. The issue is that the paradigm is completely different in the Wayland and Global Shortcuts portal. Mm -hmm. Is your keys or when we can say that OBS is using a, a fr in a, a internal hotkey resolution, uh, hotkey settings, when it comes to portals, the application needs to accept that hotkeys are not man managed by the application itself. It's managed by the compositor. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly, oh, I want, I give you, it's mostly the application. I have all of these callbacks. And when and when the user set up its keys, it triggers these callbacks. Mm -hmm. And when I say callbacks, is trigger this function, trigger the start stop. It's And the issue is that OBS is not designed with this way in mind. It's it's only designed to be to have this. It's the same in Windows. I Mac OS. I didn't dig around, but apparently, if you ask permissions, you can do whatever you want at the end. Mm -hmm. Where Linux is really more restrictive. I still didn't find an application using the global shortcut portal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still searching for one. Yeah. Yeah, I was um, really excited when the portal was implemented, but yeah, Gnome, Gnome's is not even does not even it have it implemented. Jeez, not on the last uh, this week on Gnome. It was noted that someone was on it, was mm -hmm. beginning to work on it. They just needs people. Right. It is, it, it's it's like the variable refresh rate. They have someone, they fix all the bugs. Now we can do tiering. Uh, can someone do tiering? <laughs> it's like yeah. 
Yeah, it's complicated. And yeah. so the the world of keys. And so you need to change how OBS works internally. You need to, from what I saw in my, considering my mind is that you need to make OBS able to have the two paradigms, internal mm-hmm. OTK settings and externals. Est- external well, management, internal management, external management of OTKs. The other issue is that when you are, well, the, it is how the portal works, when you, the portals is not dynamic. On mm-hmm. Once you create a session, you're creating a session with a fixed amount of OTKs. Right. Right. OBS has is more dynamic. Each time you create a source, each time you remove a source, each time you doing dealing with plugins, filters, etc., etc., you adding odd keys or you removing odd keys. Mm-hmm. But you're not limited to one session, so you can create dozens of sessions of global shortcut. But you need to implement everything, and this is not. A easy task. Mm-hmm. You need, you need, uh, you need to create, you need to create the uh, UI UX because no OBS is not gonna spam you with thousands of global shortcuts uh, <laughs> prompt. So you need to you need to create a, a flow that allows you to say, oh, okay, these plugins I would like to have the hotkeys on it. Mm-hmm. Enables the session on it, and then you have the and most of the portals screencast. Um, I think remote session has it too, mm-hmm. and the global shortcut have session restorations. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying I am not saying that's on the screencast ca- case that restorations works well. It just depends if you're lucky that the Windows name match the name that was saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's per imp- implementations, the restoration. And so it's, you really need to adapt OBS on it. And it's not an easy task, and it's not. And the ish, the, and you could, some people could say I could work on it since I, can say all those things and say, oh, we should do that, we should do that. But I can't because my dev environment can't allow me to work on global shortcuts. And I'm not in a hurry because I I'm I'm sorry I don't use shortcuts, hotkeys. I need I need to I need to learn to use more my keyboard rather than just the mouse. <laughs> This is this is why I take the hard path of using V motions, right. V motions on right. some stuff, but 